What goes through your mind before the race? I remember feeling very excited and didn't really understand what was going on around me. The course is 200 kilometers long. It is made up of six rounds of 33 kilometers. The course includes a challenge trail with uphills, downhills, stones, gravel, and Roman cobblestones. And it's somewhat a bullet course, and you go around it again and again and again. While running, I experienced the whole gamut of feelings, from excitement to happiness, to hope, optimism, love, also disappointment, crisis, weakness, depression, anger. The hardest thing is to make it into the second night because there is something about that darkness and loneliness which suddenly makes you feel drained and more alone. After so many hours of being awake and on my feet, suddenly I felt as if I were floating outside of my body and looking down at myself from above. And it was only the body there, just the body. It's pretty frightening because you have to face your greatest fears. What does that mean, your greatest fears? To see yourself at your most difficult moments in crisis. You come face to face with yourself when you're at your lowest point. And the fear of having regrets. Regrets about giving up and not completing the challenge. Because, because I've been through all this, I've got this far and I'm going to quit, that's it. I'm going to give up on myself. It's anger. Being such a good for nothing. Don't give up. So when did you actually start running? When I was a teenager, I wasn't really all that good, but I wanted to prove myself that I was good at something. And at some stage I realized that not giving up on myself when running usually leads to something good happening off the track. In other words, if my dreams once seemed unattainable then, today I see things differently. That's what it's all about. That's why I teach others to run.